right, look, so I got this running and there's a couple caveats here, all right? First of all, it's gonna be slower than having like a real dedicated GPU. I'm running a MacBook that's like fully specced out and it still takes me about 30 seconds to, you know, a minute-ish to actually put out four images. I know it's fine for me, it works for me. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it and show you guys how to do this. First link that's gonna be useful for you if you're installing on Apple Silicon is this right here. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And it gives you these commands here that you're gonna have to run. And you gotta use brew to install protobuf. If you don't know where brew is at, you can just like search that up real quick. Brew for Mac. If you don't have that installed, it'll bring you here. Boom. Run this command without the cache symbol at the front of it. You can just click the copy button to the right. Open up a terminal, run that bad boy. Copy, paste, enter, boom. And once you do that, you're gonna have to clone the repository. I went ahead and created a folder, went into that folder in my terminal using CD and then clone this repository. So at this point, this is where it gets fun. Now I can start choosing what models I wanna mess around with, right? You can get models from Hugging Face. You can do the Stable Diffusion XL, Stable Diffusion XL Base. The solid ones is like Stable Diffusion V1-5 and uh, I think there's a V1-4 as well. That's really solid. You can also go to this spot, the AI, and you can get some pretty cool stuff from here as well. And then once you download these things, which are big files, are like two to what, this one's like seven gigs almost. At that point, you take those files and you copy them to your Stable Diffusion folder. Here, let me show you that. All right, so in the repo that you cloned, it has all these folders in it, right? Now, the folder that you wanna copy these files in that you downloaded is in the Models folder and then the Stable Diffusion folder. And it even says put stable diffusion checkpoints in here. So those CK whatever files that you downloaded that were like two gigs, take them, put them in this folder that you should already have in your computer if you followed the previous instructions in the document that I've linked. Now at this point, it's pretty simple. You CD into the stable diffusion web UI folder, which you cloned, and then you run with dot slash in your terminal dot slash web UI. Now, Here's a little pro tip for my devs out there. You can add the dash dash API flag if you wanna like play around with automating some of the stuff behind the scenes. So what you would do is, is you would do dot slash web UI dot SH, then add space dash dash API. Now when that's all done and running, get a URL here. Let me scroll up and show you guys what that looks like. And then here, you'll see a link. And if you don't see this link, you can just literally go to this address in your browser uh, if you're in the, if you do see the link, you can press command and click in Mac and it'll open it up for you. And at that point, you'll be here. You'll be in the stable diffusion beast doing all the things. And you can choose from all the models here in the top left corner that you downloaded and put in that folder. And if you add any more new models, you can just hit this refresh button. It'll show up there, all that good stuff. If you want to see the API docs, you can actually go to the same address, but slash docs and it'll give you all the endpoints here. They have like a swagger doc for here that you can go to and look. And the endpoints that are really interesting are probably these SD API endpoints, image to image, text to image, at least for me, because I'm doing some image to image stuff. Hope you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see anything in more detail in the comments. Appreciate you, bye.